Hello, everyone. Um, this started with the, a lightning talk that I gave um, on the first day on the, because I think we need to improve description of contributor roles in science, specifically in open collaborative computational science. That uh, is sort of my field. And uh, I'm basically doing this as a community manager who wants to support her community. I'm also doing this with my background as an RSE because uh, traditionally that hasn't been that well recognized. And uh, should we go on to the next slide maybe? And uh, we started out from the different resources. There's Credit, which is really established and uh, a lot of publishers are using it. Indria have a fairly good uh, representation of software roles that can uh, be used to expand the credit one. And the bids contributors have a lot of roles that come with uh, open co collaborative uh, open science projects. And so we use all of these and to form the basis of a, a sort of bigger taxonomy. And we have expanded all of the credits terms and then added a few extra terms like training that wasn't included. And um, so this is basically our first draft of roles and we are taking input on different roles and tasks that are still missing. Can I talk about the next? Yep. Should yeah, should I just do the next bit, the work completed? Uh, okay. So, um, because we haven't really talked about how we divided up our time. So we started off the day and we had a discussion um, about how we wanted to sort of set out our work and what our skills were. So we sort of divided ourselves into um, Dominic, who was going to do all the sort of coding um, side of the tool, and then Malin, myself, and Daisy were going to um, tackle the list, uh, making it a very exhaustive list, and um, sort of adding to the GitHub repository. So what we actually were able to complete were gathering the relevant resources of the list that are already used, which Malin talked about, um, and um, actually I realised on there we haven't actually put the list. We made the list, um, the first draft of the list of the different tasks, and then um, we set up a GitHub repository with a readme file, uh, code of conduct, some contributing guidelines, a GitHub wiki, and, um, oh, and also the list on there, I think. Um, and then, yeah, Dominic, do you want to do the tool bit? Sure. And um, then we've also developed a command line tool that allows you to manage all these contributors. And it builds on uh, a project, a specification that has more than 6,000 GitHub stars. So it is widely adopted. And it's called uh, All Contributors. So the repository that we're looking at is our repository, but this can be added to any repository. So there is an All Contributors RC file, which is a JSON file. And it contains both the metadata, that the economy that was just defined, and the actual data, so the contributors. So this is myself, this is, uh, this is um, Malin, uh, Emma, and Daisy, who also participated. But uh, users would not uh, interact with this JSON file directly, but through our uh, command line interface that we've implemented. It's called credit all. And you can see that it has several subcommands in it to initialize it in a new project and then add to add in contributor. So I can do that and it will prompt me for like uh, a name. So I put literally everyone and now it asks me for like roles that this contributor has. And I take the role like validation user testing now. And I can add it here, I can add a comma separative list. And now we see that our JSON file here, if we reload it, uh, has appended the new data set. <laughs> and now it's also about like generating represent visual representations of that data. And we do that by generate. No, come on. This is not fair. <laughs> this is really not it's what live demo is for. <laughs> yeah. So I went for the live demo. How is that not fun? Oops. Okay. Oh. Just show just show our readme file. <laughs> okay. So no, it's even destroyed. This is a live demo gone bad. So the readme file is generated from that. And we can also like generate different types of stuff. 
like the CSV, a CSV output that um, uh, a, a LaTeX output and the README part. And what you see here is that all of these output types are def defined by a Jinja template. 